What's up Team Lock Alice? Welcome to the Top of Mammoth and in today's video I'm going to give you guys some tips, some, some knowledge, some things to think about with riding very steep terrain. Stuff that's like, ooh man, that's a little scary. You know, because a lot of people want to ride the steep stuff and they just don't know how or they're scared to do it. So hopefully these tips that I'm going to drop you, you can think of when you're riding steep terrain or if you're about to go ride your first ever steep stuff. Here's some tips for you. All right, so tip number one, when you're sitting on top of something very steep, you need to know like where you're gonna ride in. Normally, there's a, a, an approach where a lot of people have ridden in, but so we rode up this chairlift, and as we're riding up, you know, you eyed the terrain. I looked at like, what am I gonna be riding at? Now, that might not always be the case, but for the most part, it, when you're riding something very gnarly and steep, it's good to scope it out, know what you're getting into before you go over. I know that over these bumps, or more snow and not rocks. Like that's the biggest thing to know. Now, when you're riding steep terrain, it's speed management that we're working on. We do not want to just point our board down the fall line, which is basically straight down, because you're going to just go really, really fast. And when you're riding something very steep, the ability to turn sideways and use your legs to just stop is a lot harder. What we want to use is the fall line, the mountain to lose a lot of our speed. And what I mean by that is when you start making your turns down, you can ride up the mountain take your momentum up the mountain to help you slow down instead of just pointing it straight down. So let's go do that real quick. This is gonna be the biggest thing to do or to know or to do when you're doing this. So we know where we're gonna drop. I can see our little entrance right there. So let's drop into this thing. So I'm gonna come Sorry, in Chris. right here. I'm gonna make my turn, stay on my edge and I can take my speed up the mountain if I need to slow down, if I was going too fast or I got scared. So once again, if I'm coming down and I wanna slow down, I can go up the mountain and lose all that speed. I don't have to use my legs and my muscles to slow down. Because what happens a lot of times when someone tries to do a, like a heel side turn, they get this chatter. There's like, oh, it's, I can't stop. It's icy. So they try to put the brakes on too fast and they lock their legs. So use the mountain. Now, when you're in a really mogul section like this too, you don't want to fight the moguls. You want to ride with the moguls and other people's terrain. So if you do stop like this, like plan your next two or three turns when are you going to go from heel slide to toe slide? And don't be afraid if you do heel slide through a tough section. A lot of times when you're riding big mountain, it's about survival and getting through it, opposed to like, how good did I look? You know what I'm saying? No one's out here watching. I mean, maybe the people from the lift, but you know what I'm saying? Like, this is you battling yourself in this area. So I'm going to go around like this. I'm going to do a toe side turn. And then I think I'm just going to kind of take it back up the mountain and lose my speed. Cody, why don't you just stay right here? So I'm going to come down. I'm gonna do a toe side turn here. I'm gonna take my speed up the mountain. Boop. And it's that easy, you know, like it wasn't that scary. Now let's start connecting some turns and going a little fast. So Cody will come to me. And something you keep seeing me do is doing it on my toe side, like taking it up the mountain on my toes. It's because with your toes, you can really lean into it a little better. Also, when you're doing big mountain stuff, it is actually better to like traverse or like stop on your toes. Because if I slipped or I fell, I now can like grab the mountain, you know what I'm saying? If there's like a bunch of rocks below me, I can like, ooh, grab on a little better and dig my knees in, you know, I can really get to the mountain. Where if on my heels, I'm one slip away from falling on my butt and just going. All right, so we're gonna make a couple turns and I'll, I'll say stuff as we do it. I'm gonna drop in a little bit, not overlocking my knees, sit my butt down, swinging the tail around. You're gonna do a lot more. You're gonna do a lot more of those like window wiper, swinging the tail around the mogul type turns, you know, really pivoting off of your front foot. Yeah, I would say your weight's a little more of your front foot and you're swinging that back foot around. And we're gonna swing, swing, woo. And if I need to, I can just kind of glide down to a spot that's comfortable and boom. So the biggest tip on riding the steeps is if you wanna lose some speed, take it back up the mountain. It's the easiest way to lose speed. We're gonna keep this video short on the steep riding. I'll definitely do more videos on how to ride steep terrain and everything. That was just the thought I had and something I wanna do more with this channel is just drop a little bit of gems to think about while you're riding shorter videos, but they're still awesome. We're still gonna drop the massive vlogs and things. So with that team up gals, what are your tips for riding steep terrain? What do you do to get through the gnarly? Comment that down below so other people can learn from it. Also check out other awesome snowboard YouTube channels out there. There's so many of us making awesome content to help you guys get better at snowboarding. That's the whole point of what we're doing. We just want you guys to be better snowboarders so we can all have the most fun out here. And if you love what I'm doing and you want to support 
subscribe, smash the like button so other people can see this and also snag some of my merch, the Evolution merch. Uh, it does help the, the dream. I do this for a living. So with that, Team Up House, thank you so much for shredding with me today. And as always, thanks for watching. Keep evolving. We'll see you tomorrow in another video because it is daily on this snowboard channel.